Hello coders and welcome to another How to Code Well PHP tutorial. Today we're going to be working on a function that I really like in PHP. This is the array underscore chunk function. This is great when you're looping over really big array data sets and you want to batch them up. So let's go and get into the code and get into this. Let's say we had a range of data. So let's say 1 to 20. And let's say this data array held some values and we wanted to batch these values up in groups of say five. So using data range like this is going to create us a number of elements from one to 20. And what we would like to do is batch this up in groups of no more than five elements. So to do that, we would use the array underscore chunk function. Let's create another variable. We're gonna call this batches. And we're going to equal that to array underscore chunk. Now, before I fill out the arguments for this array function call, let's go into the documentation. So this will split the array into chunks. This is the link to the documentation in case you want to see some more information. And it takes the first parameter of the input. This is the array to work on. The second parameter is an integer. This is the size of each chunk. As I mentioned before, we want to chunk this into sizes of no more than five elements. There's a third argument here, which is a Boolean. This will preserve the keys. By default, this is set to false. It is optional. So when set to true, keys will be preserved. The default is false, which will re-index the chunk numerically. So we'll discuss what that means shortly. It returns a multidimensional array numerically indexed, starting with a zero with each dimension containing size elements. This, as I mentioned, is very good for creating batches of various different data sets. So let's go back into the code and start playing around with the array underscore chunk function. So the first thing I need to do is supply the array that we wish to use and create batches of. The next argument is the size of each chunk within our batch. So as I mentioned before, we want to have no more than five. Let's type print and pre. Let's also do a print underscore R of batches. Okay, so this is going to split up the data into chunks where each chunk is a size of five. This is going to return a multidimensional array of batches. I'm now going to go into a browser and target this file. If you don't have a local server running, then do check out the link in the show notes below because I've got a tutorial on how to use the PHP local server. In the browser now, we can see the output of array underscore chunk. This is our batches output. And we can see that we've got different chunks which have five elements each. So this first chunk here has one to five. The second chunk has six to 10. The third chunk has 11 to 15. And finally, the fourth chunk has 16 to 20. Notice that the array keys are not preserved. They are re-indexed. They start from zero on each of these chunks. But what if we needed to preserve our keys? Well, that's where the third argument comes into play. Let's go back to the code and I will demonstrate how to do that. So what I'm going to do is copy this. We're going to paste it underneath and we're going to change data to data one, like so, and batches to batches one here as well. Let's add the third argument, which is true. I'm also going to just print a horizontal rule just so we have a split between our examples. Save your work and go back into the browser. Refresh the page and let's scroll right to the top. So this is the first example. This is the example we had before. If we scroll down, we should see the horizontal rule that we've put in. So this is the second example and notice the difference with the array keys. These are now preserved across the chunks. So this is four and then the second chunk we start at five. And then down here, the third chunk we start at 10. And finally, the fourth chunk we start at 15. So when should you use array chunk? 
Well, I use it quite a lot when I'm looping over large data sets and I want to do specific things to each of the batches, or perhaps I'm doing an insert query and I want to commit that transaction on, say, the 10th element and say I have hundreds of elements that I'm looping through. So I want to do a commit, a transaction on the 10th one. This is how I would split and chunk up my data set into batches like this. If you found this tutorial helpful, then do let me know, give it a thumbs up, and also do consider subscribing to the How To Code Well YouTube channel to catch other tutorials like this. We have a Discord server, so if you've got any coding questions, then do consider joining. Go to howtocodewell.net forward slash Discord to get your invite. Thank you ever so much for watching. Happy coding, everybody. I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.